So this is a very exciting feature that we have. Is this you we excited? We got back testing. Is this you excited? Because it's this rare that I see you excited like this. You're very animated. This is well, maybe three cups of coffee too. Animated. Good for no, you. this this is good. This is good news. Oh, awesome! News. Show me what you got. Okay, so on the platform, if you look at uh, tastytrade.com forward slash back test, this is uh, not we, not on the platform. Correct on the uh, web. On the on website. The web I'm sorry. Yep. Apologize. On the okay. on the website. Yep. You got to go to the um, web. Yep. You, you can see this, the, our new backtesting application that's available along with this little animated video here. Kind of explains what, what's going on here. Now, if you log into the platform itself and you go to mytastytrade.com, which is the web only version, this so is available. I, so, can I back you up for just a quick second? Yep. So, if I go to the web platform, mm -hmm. I just go to Tasty Trade, yep. web based platform and put in my username and password that I would put in anywhere Log in else. Log just like before. I'm going to have this already in there. It's only in the web uh, side of it. I'm going to have this already in there, and I can just click on back testing. It'll bring me right here, correct? That's right. Awesome, awesome. So when you log in, you'll get to like a dashboard here, something like this, mm -hmm. and you go over to trading, and then you click over to back test, back testing. So, so it's going to have, uh, just to, to back up again, so it's going to have sure. all my positions that I have in the desktop version. It's exactly, exactly, exactly the same exact thing. You can use web-based if you're not downloading it uh, onto a computer, if mm -hmm. you're somewhere, well, overseas on vacation, maybe enjoying yourself or something or like that. Or a new computer. That's right. Or you don't can't afford internet and you're at the library and you want to use a web-based <laughs> platform. You can do it that way, right? Uh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Okay, great. And you can use all those backtesting tools. When, when you log in, the first time you log in, you're going to have some compliance speak. Okay. And then you're going to get, you, you click accept and then you open up to this page. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to do if you want to backtest, and backtesting is just seeing how well a, a position had worked over time okay. or historically had worked over time. And so let's click over here and say the, the symbol that we want. So here I'm going to just say SPY. Now we so have about many, 50 how, stocks right now. We have about 50 stocks, and we're, we're going to come out with about 200 in just a matter of just a couple it's weeks. expensive for the data. We're providing it, is expensive. it all for free, right? Mm -hmm. And then, back uh, why 50 stocks, just based on liquidity? Yeah, and those, some of the most liquid stocks, you know, the, the stocks that people were, were inquiring about the most. Then you can click down and you can choose the interval, okay? So what I would do on something like this is I would choose something that's in a relatively short time span, okay? Just, you, you can go all the way back to actually 2013, uh, all the way at the bottom, you can say all the way to 2013, the, the data that's available. You can also choose different scenarios, like, you know, we, we got one here, energy sector collapse, which was 2014 to 2016, uh, the post-pandemic surge, 2020 to 2021, you can choose the tech sector mania of 2020 to 2021. You know, so you can choose different scenarios. That's nice. Or you can choose like the past, and I'm just going to do the past three years. Then there's some different scenarios that you can choose here, some different trades. Okay, so if you want to choose just like, I want to back test to see how well a short strangle had worked. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click short strangle. Then we queue up and we can see, and now also if, if you want to, we can just create our own strategy, okay? We can make adjustments to things. So here I'm gonna just say 30 deltas, 30 deltas, and, and this is choosing the strikes based on deltas, okay? So this is the same as if you were in the trade platform, you go down and you're selecting a strike and you look to see what that delta was. It's just an easy way to select strikes because you know what was a few years ago a $300 stock SPY is now all of a sudden a $550 stock. Mm -hmm. So deltas is how we're choosing. Then you can choose your expirations. Now we tend to talk about 45 days till expiration. By default, it's 45 days, but you can choose this. And you, you can, can change that if you, you want to. You can change it right? to 30 or, mm -hmm. or whatnot. So you have a lot of flexibility here. Now, you have some other options here. You have your entry conditions and you have your exit conditions. Now, these are the same, this is the same tool that we're using in our, our, our research studies. So you basically might be allowed to do what, what we've been doing for the past uh, 10 years. So here you go, entry conditions. Now, you have some options here, two, two options. One is you can either use the exact DTE. So let's say right now, if you look in SPY, Okay, I'm going to look at the options. So if you're looking at uh, 45 days, we actually do have one at 45 days. Well, yesterday we would have had one at 46 uh, days till expiration. 
Well, it wouldn't have come up with the trade yesterday because we only had one at 46 days till expiration. We had another one at 67 days till expiration, another one at 39 days till expiration. So here it would, would have waited until today, 45 days till expiration. Mm -hmm. So here we just say, okay, I want to use exact DT, okay? We can unclick this and we can get more number of observations. How many would be the, the maximum? It basically, would just be doing it every single day. Oh, wow. So awesome. the, the idea behind that is you're just going to get a, a, a nice distribution of, of trades. You can see sure. what was the, the best performing, the worst performing. Sure. You can cool. also say, I want to limit the number of active trades. Okay. So just like you would normally trade. Here I'm doing a strangle. I want to see how well a strangle would have performed or had performed historically over the past three years, October 11th, 2021 to October um, 10th, 2024. So just like as of last week. Okay, let's say, you know, money's on limited, so we're going to only do, you know, let's say one trade. So that means we're only going to have one trade open. And then when the next one closes, when that trade closes, then we'll open up another one. Okay. okay. And we can also just take that off and every 45 days or any time 45 days is, is in the window, it would just create a new one. Okay. Now we have some exit conditions that we can choose. Let's just keep, keep it all just, you know, just, just, uh, the default, which is nothing is selected. Okay. So here it comes, it's up, it's doing the transaction and it is showing the, uh, the, the back test. So, so that here, orange line is the back test. The, the orange line is the P and L the profit mm -hmm. and loss for this mm -hmm short strangle strategy here you can see again the legs was selling one put at 30 delta 45 days till expiration selling a call at 30 deltas 45 days till expiration over the past three years okay so Very this cool. was a profit okay you can see the profit at the bottom now it did for three years correct for three years got it okay now we, we can also make adjustments to try to improve this and so this is like this is what we consider paper trading mm -hmm. like paper mm -hmm. trading 2024 not paper trading of 20 years ago. Yep, you know, yep. you can get your results back instantaneous to see how well a strategy performed over time. So here, if you look, you can see the buy and hold strategy. And it did underperform the buy and hold strategy, but yet buying hold strategy would have been holding up that money during the entire sure, time. Sure, sure, sure. You can see that the average profit and loss. Can you manage early on this thing? Absolutely. You can see the max drawdown, the return on capital used. Now, if you want to go down and look at the details, you can see, okay, for this, we ended up with, well, it wasn't all that great, 55% of the trades were profit profitable. So we had 18 trades, 10 were profitable, eight with losses. Uh, you can see the average return per trade. You can see the average premium collected over the past three years. You can see the premium capture rate. That means how much money we tended to keep after everything said and done. And this does include the fees. And you can see the fees here were $111, okay? We can also look at the logs, and this is very this is very useful because you can see, okay, on how were the fees one hundred eleven dollars? Well, that that would be the remember you get one dollar, of course, and then you also have your OCC fees, you have your clearing fees, you have all those other. How many contracts are you doing? What do we say here? Did we say number of one? That would have been one, and then you have a buy and a sell. Well, that would be just one, and then you had two oh, trades. So you have the fees over three year period. Yes. Oh, got it. Okay, got sorry. It. Yeah over, the, yeah, over the entire three-year period. This is not oh, right. Just, right. So it's days. every 45 days minus whatever manager. Whatever, okay. Mm -hmm. It's all the continual roles. Absolutely. Got it. Okay. Now, if you want to look at what happened, okay, October 12th, 2021, this is the first trade, and we closed it out. Why did we close it out? Well, it was actually an exercise. So it, it looked like it had gone through either the call or the put here. And so we got exercise that position. This one here expired and there was a, it was a profit, but the first one was a, a loss. We had some losses here, a big loss here of 36% return on, on investment. And you can just look down and you can see what the fees were, the, the premiums were. And then we go over here and we can look at the orders. Okay, so here's another thing that's, that's interesting on this. We're looking at it on the most liquid part of the day, which is at 245. That is the transaction time. So we're not looking at the close we're looking at the bid offer spread. And so all these trades would be done at 245. You can see what the, the credit was, okay? The first one, we did it at 993 and we took it off for this debit, okay? And you can look down and you can see all the, the orders. You can see the transactions too, what exactly went on. You can also download each one of these pages, 
So if you're kind of a so nerd, you get really granular here. Oh, you could, you, oh yeah. Then you could take that and put it into an Excel spreadsheet if you wanted. To. Absolutely, because some people have like really particular like what they want to do. They want to overlay it with some technical analysis. Or you want to right, You want to see when the stock hit your number if you put on this strategy, or you want to uh, see if a stock had a you know a one percent move in any one day. You can do if all you that. Put on this strategy. Yeah, it's very cool. You can do all that. Yep. This shows you the daily settlement. So this is just going to show you every single day going back those three years and it's showing you the PL for each particular day. Here it's basically just showing, okay, 4% of the, of the total has been done and you can see more and you can, you can show the thousand other days within this, this, this test. But let's go back and let's, let's just make some modifications to this, this particular trade. So I went back and I just said, uh, select, uh, go back to the, the previous new back test. So here we can say, let's then exit at 21 days till expiration. Why do you do that? Well, we, tended to show that historically, um, once you get close expiration, your gamma risk all of a sudden increases, your theta decay increases significantly, but your gamma risk starts increasing. Mm -hmm. So we say it tends to be, you know, at about 21 days till expiration calendar days is when we kind of like to manage as kind of a ballpark. We can also say, okay, let's take profits at a specific premium level. Sure. We can say, let's add a stop loss here, or we can also say, let's just exit at two days into the trade. We can do that. Gotcha. Here, I'm going to just say 21 days, 50% taking profits. Is it pulling the prices at the end of the day? Yes. Is that at what it is? 245. At 245. Yeah, at 245 is when it's 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 assuming that you're exiting these trades. Perfect. So it's not doing this on the close. It's doing this at 245, which is the most liquid part of the day. So then we can run this back test with those adjustments, and we can see how well it did. In this particular, you know, in managing it, it looked like it didn't do as well. But this is always going to vary based on on what you're doing, what your expectations are. So if you want to... I, I thought ahead. I saw a feature in there when I was playing around mm -hmm. with it that, and you may have mentioned it, forgive me if you, if you did. Sure. Where you can close that order and open another one when, yes. the, when the parameters hit, right? Absolutely. Like, you know, like, so if you want to continually have this type of strategy on, like let's say you're managing at 25 or 35 or 50 percent or some number a uh, date and time mm -hmm. and put on another one absolutely that exact moment with new strikes or the same strikes but they would be same delta but they would be new strikes obviously because time has gone by or go out to a different month is that correct or not 100 okay. percent. so here this is what you do to, for something like that okay you want to do this at let's just change these uh let's just change this up a little bit let's so just you say can get, you can get really crazy in oh here. you can get, you can really get crazy a little bit this. intricate as opposed to just looking at what a strangle is going to do over 45 days absolutely you know, I mean? you know if you think that the russell for example you think the russell is uh, is going to go off and is just going to have this huge increase in mm -hmm. in in things or you think that there's going to be some huge vol spot spike because of things we can get granular in this we can look to see what how a particular strategy performed during your type of market scenario that you're either expecting and then you can make an assumption okay this is how it performed in the past during during the uh, let's say uh, during the in, in, in the bear market okay mm -hmm. you can see how well this strategy worked on something like that we don't and, have yeah 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 we that just doesn't happen at all not allowed anymore. so here you know, let's just say i only want to do this every until there's f up to five trades mm -hmm. and then i don't want to put on anymore because you know money's limited and and that's sure. kind of sure. realistic mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so then you can just run this run this scenario during that environment okay and this strategy it, it outperformed a buy and hold you of course you know a buy and hold would have lost money during a during a uh, decrease in the overall market. Yeah, yeah. But then there's things that you can do. I mean, obviously, if you think the market's going to de decline, you're not going to be selling a strangle. You would maybe just sell a call. Yeah. So let's see how well uh, that would work during that type of environment and see how well we can we can make modifications to the, the profit and loss and the adjustments of the strategies. So you get your almost instantaneous results here. This is this is back testing 2024. Is this the most paper trading? Is this the most advanced backtesting platform exists? It is, I believe, the most advanced free backtesting application that's on the market right now. It has to be the newest technology, no matter what. I'd like to think so. And it's free. It's it's free as long as you have an account. You sign up for an account. 